Hey guys, Joe here. Just uh, watching a movie here, but I'll turn it off real quick because you're more important to me. So I'm in my storage unit and I've done some organizing, cleaning up a little bit. As you can see, some of the boxes have disappeared. That was the chair. I didn't fart. And let me show you what I've been doing. Took my old desk and set it up so that I can work on things. There's some of the games I picked up in the last video, as well as a few systems that I have to test and a few things that I'm going to show you right now. Greatest John Cusack movie ever. I'll fight you. It's windy. As I stated in the last video, which you can rewatch right here, I am not going to be showing you much that I'm going to be flipping anymore. Now, I am going to show you a couple of things because they happen to be big reasons why this video even got made, but for the most part, everything else is keepers. So, where to start? Okay. I found a place down in Harrisonburg, completely by accident, called Monster Games, and I'll link them down in the description, and it's a pretty damn cool place. It's a retro store, but also a current store, but it's not one of those ones where it's full of assholes that just want to make the most freaking possible money they can. They're actually run locally by a really nice guy. Now, there's a couple of stores I've seen come and go, so I actually didn't want to go into this store. But I happened to find it by accident when I was down in Harrisonburg buying a system from a kid, which you can see in this video. The guys that run the place are awesome. They treat you well. They give you good prices, but they also are willing to discount things to sell them, unlike some places. So I took him some common DS titles, you know, brain games and Guitar Hero, things like that. It was like 30, 35 of them. If you take them to GameStop, most of them they won't even take. The rest of them are like two cents a piece. But anyways, for all those, he gave me a copy of UFC Undisputed 3. Best Undisputed, best UFC game, period. I will fight you on that one, too. Because all the Xbox One games are... <laughs> who cares if they look good when the, grain, when the gameplay is just horrendous. The next day, I called one of my buddies who has a retro store up north. Now he is more actual retro and he's much smaller. He doesn't have the same kind of money to lay out on things. So I tend to only bring him premium things, you know, like um, I traded him a Conker's Bad Fur Day for a bunch of stuff, which was worth more than the Conker's Bad Fur Day. But since he gets deals when he buys stuff, he didn't mind. But he had some stuff. And one thing was a 3DS XL. This is a blue 3DS XL original XL, it's not the new one with the C-Stick or anything. However, he gave me a deal on it because it wasn't powering on. He didn't know what was wrong with it. He doesn't like to mess with these things. I said, okay, I'll take it. I threw in an extra battery I had. Works perfect. These two, he knew what was wrong with them. It's two DSIs. They both work, and they both have bad L buttons. Super common on these DSs, especially these older ones. It's better on the DS. Uh, 3DS's and the new 3DS's of course but on the DSI's and the DS lights the left bumper for some reason is always the one that fails and it's not for some reason it's actually because it's kids fault when they're playing their games they're getting super excited and they're just ur, 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 ur. but as you can hear they still click but they're not registering all the way what happens is there's micro switches on the motherboard that get pushed back over time from people pounding on the buttons so you take the back off, move the switches back into the upright position as they should be, and then you have fully functioning systems again. So that's cool. And with those, I picked up a Xbox One headset adapter because they trade in pretty well when you need to trade stuff. I also got a copy of Iron Man on Wii. Now, as you recall, after I did what I did, adult warning, by the way, I got rid of all my Iron Man games without realizing it. They happened to just go into a box of games that I sold. So I had to replace that and I will slowly. So I got it because I basically got this and this for virtually nothing because I got the 3DS, the 2DSi's, the adapter and the Iron Man game for $60. Now that is a really good deal because a 3DS XL is worth anywhere from $90 to $110 at the flea market. And uh, the DSIs, you know, they're worth $35, $40 a piece still, amazingly. I don't know why. They're very old and they only play DSI and DS games. So 
those will go away, but I figure I can get $150 for those three things, so I'll be ahead of the game. Moving on to stuff that's keepers. Sorry, I know I, I broke my own rule second video in, but kind of had to because it was the biggest part of this video. On my way out, I stopped at a pawn shop I go to. It's one of three places up north that I make sure to stop at. And for $5 total, he gave me a Super Nintendo joystick as well as an original Atari controller because all I had for my 4-Switch Vader Atari was a... 7600 controller or 7800 controller it's the one with the paddle and the circle on the top and i didn't like it so now i have the correct ones but for five bucks you can't say no to that the third place i stopped at was a mom and pop store it's actually called mom paws thrift store and he tends to start his prices too high on his games and then slowly he brings them down i've tried to convince him to just go ahead and discount stuff and just sell it to me at the lower price but he likes to just wait and see if he can sell any of it well it's been months since he put these out and he's finally dropped the price to a point that i was willing to pay and that price was a dollar a piece even though they say a dollar fifty he had just lowered the price again and these are in virtually unplayed condition first one is ufc throwdown corvette SOCOM US Navy SEALs, Midnight Club Street Racing, and Need for Speed Underground. So a dollar a piece, it's never a bad price to pay. And the last thing was inside of the Midnight Club was a red 8 meg memory card, which for some reason the price has gone up on memory cards, and I don't know why. It's not like the systems are that prevalent anymore. Although I'm seeing people out at the flea markets wanting $50 for a PS2 fat, which makes me LOLOLOLOLOL. The other reason I say it's so funny is because I have memory cards coming out the wazoo because they're not hard to get a hold of, especially when you buy multiple systems and bundles and stuff like that. For example, here's five more 8 meg cards, and I don't even remember where they came from. They were just in a baggie in a box. And I know I have a box that is full of memory cards, N64, Dreamcast, um, all the other ones. I've even got the 360, the original 360 memory cards. So the fact that these are going for five, six bucks a piece blows me away. And I don't get it, but oh well, more power to the resellers. Last thing was I went to GameStop where my buddy had gotten this from a customer. We don't take these in. But the customer, instead of keeping it, just said, you can have it. I don't even know if the damn thing works. They didn't have a charger. I have chargers. I have cables and chargers and connectors and, and, and power cords for things I never even bought. And, uh, yeah, so that was not a problem for me. So I threw it on the charger overnight, came back. It's fully charged. It works perfect, plays games. And uh, yeah, I'm happy because I got a 1000 model for free and these are the ones you can jailbreak. It had a 32 meg card in it, but I've also got uh, in this baggie here a 512 meg as well as a one gigabyte card. So yeah, I'll just pop one of those in there and then I can play more games. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please leave those down below. If you have any comments, leave those down below. Face for subscribe or down there. Patreon to become a Patreon and see the videos a couple of days sooner. And uh, I'll put up a couple more videos here. Um, that one will be a pickup video, and this one will just be a drive talk of some sort. So, yeah. And uh, until we speak again, I'll talk to you later.